What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And before we get into our overview of NCAA Football 2005, I want to talk about a few things with NCAA 07. I'm just getting a little frustrated with the, some of the features that I feel like are holding down the game that's just not making it fun for me. I think the momentum meter and the combination of that with the big hits, I think it just leads to just way too many fumbles. I thought I was able to fix that with sliders, and I just can't. Maybe it's possible if you go down to All-America, but I can't play on All-America. I'm just too talented for that. So I love all the updated playbook stuff, but there just isn't enough for me there to want to continue further. So pretty good chance I'm done with 07 for the foreseeable future. I hope you understand. If you like 07, good for you. I wish I had your mindset and you know, and you enjoying certain things. But just there's certain aspects of 07 that I just do not like enough for me to want to pursue that any further. With that being said, let's talk about NCAA Football 2005. I have been receiving requests for several weeks to do an overview of 2005. And today, that's what we're going to do. Maybe at the end of it, I may play a full game or whatnot. I'm not really sure. So let's just get right down to it. Okay, here we got the main menu screen. We got play now. We'll get to that a little bit later. Let's go right to the game modes. You got play online. 2004 was the first game that went online, I think. You got dynasty mode. We can go into here and I can show you just a few things and just like my comments and such, my thoughts on it. Edit coach, nothing has changed since from 06. I'm going to compare 05 to 06 and 04 since it's sandwiched in between, but all that looks pretty much the same. This was also the first game that to introduce the 1AA schools. 04 did not have that, but we could go ahead and just like begin a dynasty and I can show you some differences and stuff. There's a big difference between 04 and 05 in terms of a lot of things, really. But in 2005, it introduced, I think, discipline was a uh, new thing. Of course, with 05, you got 70 players on a roster max compared to only 55 in 04. There is no in-season recruiting. That was started in 06. I'm kind of okay with that. So you can see here we got preseason options. Custom schedules, registered players. Now, in 04, if you remember what I talked about in the ov overview video of 04, the biggest problem 04 had in Dynasty mode was you can't rotate your conference schedule. So, like, here's Tennessee. We always play Alabama every year from the other division. Now, this year it says we were playing Ole Miss. In 04, we would play Ole Miss every single year. We would never rotate out with LSU or Auburn or who or their Auburn's on the schedule there. But okay, yeah, Auburn and Ole Miss, those would always stay the same in 04. I'm pretty sure that has been fixed in 05, which is a good thing. I like this kind of setup. It kind of shows you, well, I sort of see sort of what they're kind of doing here. But either way, it's custom schedules. It is what it is. Red shirting players. Again, you now have up to 70 players on the roster, which is really cool. They also added the player model at the top right, which I thought was pretty cool. In 04, I don't think it had it. Anything else? There's nothing else really different about this other stuff compared to 06, from what I can tell. So it is what it is there. Uh, let's go to, you know, you got your play week. I wanted to see... You go top 25, independence. You could do it by conference. That's interesting. The only thing I kind of wish it had is it, it would just show your week. It, it would show your schedule alone instead of having to go find it. I know they'll put yours at the very top, but maybe this kind of forces me to kind of look at, at the other games that week or something. I'm not really sure. But anyway, just normal play week. You, oh, there it is. They separated. Okay, I just now noticed that. Here's our team schedule. They just put it in a different spot. So that's good to see. Now, again, there is no in-season recruiting. That's not a big deal to me. You, the people who may want to start a dynasty with a really bad team will not feel as guilty having to recruit three stars or better during the season. You don't have that option anymore in this game. You you can now go in the off season and get all the one to two stars you want if you feel like you got to do that. Hopefully that made sense. Of course, Sports Illustrated. I'm pretty sure this was in 04. Nothing special here. It's very basic. Stat book, coach options. We can look at this. 
Okay, here's another thing that I'm really excited about. In 04, they did not have offensive type or base defense. What it had was actually none of the two, to be honest. But in this game, you can determine the type of offense you have. Therefore, like if I want to run the uh, spread offense, the game will only force me to have one fullback on the team as opposed to running option and it may want me to keep three on the roster. So I'm glad they introduced that in this game here. All that looks normal for 05 compared to 06. You got your positions. That's pretty normal. You got your report card. Again, this is nothing new compared to 06. They really made a big leap in a lot of little things from 04 to 05. But we'll talk about some other things that the game is kind of known for. Features, you got your rosters, and you go to your playbook. It's interesting you can kind of create your playbook from here. Of course, you could do that in 06, I'm pretty sure. But this was another big introduction, a new feature. You can now create your own playbook in 05. You couldn't in 04. So you better believe I'm going to be all over this thing. Now, one thing I need to find out, in 2004, if you go to the website, you'll notice if you go to like some of the, the, the ACE page or the I formation, there's always two versions of a handful of formations like I normal. There's two versions of I normal in 04, and you had to go find out which teams had what. That way you didn't miss out on any plays. I do not think it, it's like that in 05. I think 05 is exactly like 06 in terms of the formations are simplified. For example, anybody that had a slot had the exact same 18 plays regardless. Again, I'm pretty sure that's correct, but if somebody uh, can tell me that I'm wrong on that, please let me know. That way I need to do some digging and add all this stuff to the website down the road. Of course, you got your audibles. Nothing's really changed there. And speaking of that, I, I talked about 07 earlier and how I'm basically done with it. I still need to finish adding a few more things to the website, so... Don't worry, I'll try to finish that up for those who still want to play 07. And that's kind of it for, I mean, Dynasty mode. Um, the only other thing I'll mention is the one little quirk I saw in off-season recruiting is that occasionally you'll see a, a non-Power 5 school have a decent high recruiting class. I remember the last time I, I fooled around with this, I think Fresno State. Now, Fresno State was really good back in the day, back in 2004, but... They had like a top 20 recruiting class, which we know would, would never happen. Just don't be shocked if you see that, if you start playing this. I'm sure many of you who have already played this have seen that before. And what's interesting, you can do... I'm kind of looking greatest game. Okay, no, this is just for Dynasty stuff. Okay, but that's kind of it for Dynasty. It's pretty simple. Let's go to the actual gameplay type stuff, and then we'll try to maybe get into a game itself. I just kind of wanted to show you some of that stuff in Dynasty. Oh, I, I just now remembered. I don't think this has... Yeah, it's got disciplined players. I, I didn't see it in there, but I'm pretty sure it's in there. Either way, uh, let's go. Somebody can uh, check me on that. I'm pretty sure discipline was introduced in this game. All right, let's go back to game modes. You got Pontiac College Classics. I'm glad this is in there. I think this will be a whole lot of fun if I've done some videos on these. I've never fooled with these before, but it would be cool to try to replicate the Hail Mary Doug Flutie had way back in the day. Or another good example, uh, Colorado, no, not that one. What was the other? Colorado, Michigan, the infamous fifth down, that type of stuff. I think it'd be pretty cool to try to accomplish a lot of these. I think that'd be pretty neat to do some videos on them. You can leave your comments on if you think that would be pretty cool or not. But it's cool that these are in here. They are not in 06. Okay, rivalry game. I'm, this was actually taken out in 06, and they reintroduced it back in 09, which I thought was really weird. But this is a good way for me to find out who my rivals are. So if I want to run a San Jose State dynasty, I know exactly who my rivals are, Fresno State. It looks like San Jose State only has Fresno State as a rival, which kind of makes sense. But you see like Syracuse, they got Miami and West Virginia. That sort of thing. Mascot game, it is what it is. That's kind of a waste. We got practice mode. We'll get into a little bit of that here in a minute. Let's go to features. You got create a school, create a player. Again, we talked about create a playbook earlier, create a sign. Again, the 1A rosters, you can now have up to 70, and I have the name rosters in here, which is pretty cool. 2004 was a great year for Tennessee. We had two true freshmen kind of kick things off for us. We made it to Atlanta. 
Nobody really expected it. It was a whole lot of fun that year. Those were some good times, for sure. Brent Schaefer, Eric Ainge, and whatnot. Cool stuff. Dev chart, that's nothing special there. Uh, AA rosters. I do not have a roster file for 2005. I need to get a one AA roster file to throw in here, just in case I want to run with a AA school down the road. So I may try to do that if I can find it. I do have the historical rosters built in here. As you see here, the 85 Alabama team, I got Mike Shula. Let's see, Humphrey. But I do have all of them in here, which is really good. Okay, next up, my NCAA, we can kind of look at, this was sort of in the dynasty mode. Nothing special here. Pennant collection, I really don't care about. Greatest games, that just depends on how good your games have been when you start playing. Campus challenge, I'm, I may leave this on, just to, especially if I played 2005 enough, I think it'd be pretty cool to maybe leave these on. Settings, let's just go ahead and go to settings. Okay, like I said, we're going to run play a game tonight, at least do a half of some sort. Here's my default everything. I got right now a quarter length of five minutes. This will probably go up in time because 2005 is known for it being slower gameplay. So the scores are going to be lower. You know, in 2007 or the 07, I pretty much complained about how the scores were so low all the time. And I busted up the six minutes and it still was just like too low, even for like a bad defense that I had holding Ohio State to barely 21 points. So I know the quarter length will go up to maybe even seven minutes. I'll figure that out in time, but today we're just going to do the five minutes. I'm going to set on Heisman injuries, home field advantage. This was a new thing added to the NCAA series, FHA, HFA. Uh, I'm curious to see if it's overdone or not. I don't, I don't know how you could decide if something is overdone, but this is a new feature, camera shade, campus challenge. Again, I'm going to leave that on. Let's go to the AI. For now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to make the same mistake as I've done with 07, just start off with a different slider set and work off of that. There are less mechanical features, less weird things that will affect gameplay in 05 compared to 07. 07 had the weird features like jump the snap, the momentum meter. You don't have none of that in 05, so I'm guessing I won't have to tinker with these sliders too often. That's why I'm going to start at default 50% across the board. As you can see here, for everything, I got everything set at 50. Now, 2005 is known for one thing that a lot of people don't like, and that is drops. There's just a lot of drops in this game for whatever reason. In today's game, I'm only going to do, I'm going to leave it at default. I just want to show you what it looks like by leaving wide receiver catching on at dead center. That way you kind of know, hey, yeah, there's a lot of drops. We may need to crank it up to whatever. But for now, I'm going to do it at 50, and we'll adjust afterwards, okay? Penalties, I don't I haven't played this game enough to know if these are good or bad. We may crank them up later. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. Visual, you don't need to worry about that. Audio system. We could talk about the controller a little bit. If you ever noticed in, in 06, I always used the 2005 configuration. This is what you see here. Nothing has changed except... One thing I'm going to have to get used to is in 2005, you had to toggle on and off your passing icons. You couldn't hold down the X button to run with your quarterback and throw on the run. You can't do that in this game. So I'm going to have to get used to that in some form or fashion. I got no choice. They didn't introduce that until 06, but I just wanted to point that out to you there. I'm just kind of looking here. I cranked the auto subs all the way up. I maybe need to adjust that late. I don't know how fatigued some of these players get. Passing mode, quick, man shift, auto, I like that. Auto strafe, I turn that off. I really don't like that it turned on. But nothing else has really changed in terms of if you go to pre-defense, I'm pretty sure my sprint button. It, what's shove? I wonder what the shove is. Is that for defensive linemen? Either way. A lot of people really like, L2 is a big hit. Interesting. So they moved that. I'm going to have to kind of learn some of these. I need to look at my instruction manual a little bit harder. But a lot of people like the spe the special moves, left and right, SWAT, strafe, that type of thing, when you are when you are a defensive lineman. It's really no different than what I was doing with those six because, again, I was using the 2005 configuration. Okay, let's get out of that. Uh, instantly one of one that's just... The what's new, that may be worth looking at down the road, but home field advantage is new. 
controls and such. I may look at that at the on the back end. I may actually put these videos up on the website or something. I'm not sure. But that's kind of it. I, one thing we want to go do real quick, let's go to practice mode. And I just want to show you a couple things that I've noticed that's a little bit different than 06 or 04. Let's go up against a, a bad team just so maybe I can pull off some of this stuff. I want to go out. Oh, there we go. I don't know what my playbook is. Let's go team specific. Let's just go Tennessee. That's fine. I just want to show you a couple things that I've noticed since I've, I've tinkered with 05 the last few weeks. Just off and on, not a whole lot. I'm going to learn a whole lot more as I play, obviously. There's big hits, but I, it, I don't think it's overdone like it was in 07. Lord, I hope not. Uh, hopefully we don't see as many, and hopefully they don't lead the fumbles. Please, hopefully that doesn't happen. But a few things I wanted to show offensively was just like a couple random concepts that I thought that seems to be working a little bit better, maybe a little bit worse than 06. Let's start off with a run concept. Let's go with like gun spread, and let's go with inside draw. Now in 06, 07, and probably beyond, the draw plays from the gun sets are very slow, and they just do not work for whatever reason. In 05, they work a whole lot better just because they are quicker. Hopefully I can pull this off, but let's go with inside draw. Let's go up against a dime, random current, yes, random play current formation. That's fine. Okay, first off, you'll notice the player models are a whole lot different. Everybody looks a little bit bigger. Now, one thing, you may see a little shutter of the, of the screen. I don't know if that's me or the TV. I'm not really sure. But either way, notice how quick the inside draw is. They're really quick. I got, I mean, you'll notice how quick it was. I mean, it's like an extra second quicker. This is very encouraging for anybody who doesn't like to use halfback direct. You don't have to use that anymore. Inside draw works pretty good now. You can get, still get stopped, but it's just quick. That's all I wanted to see. You can get up the field, that type of thing. But I love the player models. These guys just look much bigger. It's a matter of preference, but you can tell Albert Twain right there, much bigger than the 06. Everybody was just much slimmer in 06 compared to 05. Okay, I wanted to show you inside draw. The other thing I wanted to show you was in 06, you always had the safety valve of a short side zone beater. For example, maybe I can find here like wide receiver curls, you know, with curl flat, your flat is always your zone beater. Let's go up against a nickel cover two. The passing game in 05 is much harder now. Now, I'm going to try to go to my right here. Look at that. The corner does a lot better job of covering right here, and I threw it pretty quick. I may try it again here in a minute. But he does a much better job of covering both routes. Let's see if we can try that again. And he cuts in. That's nice. But I just kind of wanted to point out that the curl flat, just your short side zone beater in general, is much tougher to complete. So I'm going to have to figure out the passing game in this game, which is going to be pretty neat. Uh, I was going to go to a cover two. We'll try. We'll try to hit the curl rat. In 07, the curl rat is like beyond easy. I made a catch there. But he was all over him. Let's try that again. And we can make the catch, but it's not as safe as it is in 07. Biggest thing I wanted to show you was the short side zone beater. It's just a little bit tougher now. Uh, I think that was kind of it. Uh, one thing that 05 does not have compared to 06, you do not have your sub packages. So that's just something you kind of have to work around. I'm going to have to deal with that. But at least I don't have to try to figure out, okay, can I put my tight end over in the slot over here? So that's one little small advantage. I'd rather have the sub packages, don't get me wrong, but they are not in 05. I think that was it. I was just going to show you on there. Other things, there are probably going to be other... Let's try one more thing before we get into our game. I want to look for a slant route. I don't know if there's one. We could try quick slants, and let's just go with a random formation, random play. Looks like they're going zone. We could try this. My guys are catching it. All right, they're going man. I didn't know if the slants worked a little bit better in 05, and that's kind of pleasing. That guy got a big step on the, and I threw it way too late, too. He got a step on him, at least. So maybe slants work a little bit better in 05. 
compared to 06. I don't know. Okay, I just wanted to show you a couple little quirk things there, especially the inside draw. Really excited about that. So now I feel even better about myself running a gun-oriented offense and I don't have to do direct. I can always do inside draw, maybe a little QB choice, that type of thing. Now let's just go ahead and save it. I don't know what changed, but we'll do that. All right, now let's just go into our game. I'm going to play Tennessee, and we're going to go up against somebody. I don't know who. We'll go. We'll play on the road, play at a different, because we'll play a team that's like close to our talent. All right, let's go play now. Let's go here, go to Tennessee. I always like to start off with Tennessee with an exhibition. Let's try is Penn State. I had them on my mind. B plus a B plus. That'll work. Some reason they got as much talent as we do, but we are ranked 11. They must have had a bad year or something. Okay, let's go to continue. Now, I can't change. That's interesting. For some reason, I wanted to I wanted to change the venue in terms of like the weather and stuff. I'm not seeing that. Am I missing something? Let's go up to play now. I've done that correctly. Forgive me, I have to do this again. I was just kind of looking for it. Maybe it's... You know what I'm talking about, where you can go change your venue, change your weather, all that good stuff, and I'm not really seeing it. So let's just go ahead and hit continue. We're going to do that. User options, playbook. Let me just do the team specific. I don't know what I'm... I guess we can't change that, which is weird. You can't do that for play now. I must have missed it somewhere. Either way, let's go ahead and play. Now, here's a cool thing with 05. I really like the entrances. The pregame stuff is so much cooler in 04 and 05, I think they were the exact same compared to 06 entrances and the pregame is fine, but the 05 ones are really cool. You're going to see that here. You got your tunnel entrances and stuff. They're just completely different. Hopefully, it'll show up here. Beaver Stadium. We're live at Beaver Stadium at State College, Pennsylvania, tucked in the Nittany Valley between Bald Eagle Mountain and Tuffy Mountain. A freezing cold day for this yep, game between the Tennessee Volunteers and the Nittany Lions of Penn State. Look at that. That's awesome. I love that. Here come the Nittany Lions. That's cool. Nice little touch. Don't know why they got rid of it. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. And we're set to bring you another great matchup <laughs> in the world of NCAA football. I love those the uniforms. They look are good. A confident bunch of kids, and rightfully Victor so. Victor McClure. This team is just too powerful. Tony Brown. Uh, there's no question about it. This Corey Larkins. Ugly. Tennessee is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and this looks good. Me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. Forget about it. Penn State is not going to be able to slow down this yeah. rushing attack, and I'm going to tell you why. That defensive line is going to get dominated up front, Kirk, and they're going to lose this one big. Thank you, guys. The team captains are on the field, and this game is about to get underway. All right, pretty cool. Let's go to the coin toss. They won the toss. They want the ball first, which is fine. Okay. Now, the biggest difference in game from 05 to 06 is there are no impact players. I don't know how you may feel about that. I actually don't mind it. I mean, I, impact players are really cool. You feel like you can really do something special with an impact player. But there also is less room for, I hate to use the word cheese, but sometimes when you're going up against an impact running back, you feel like you're going up against Herschel Walker. Big-time impact quarterback, it could be Peyton Manning. Big wide receiver, you feel like you're going up against Randy Moss with some of the crazy stuff they could do. So that's no longer, this is it's not an 05. So it's, I guess it's going to be a more balanced type feel to the game because of it. So that means you really got to know where the talent is at and not just where the impact players are at. So let's look at Penn State's roster. We can look at ours real quick. I'm going to start the true freshman, Brent Schaefer. He was only there for a year, and he transferred out, went to Ole Miss, and didn't do anything. He's got 78 speed, so we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, halfback, I need to – let's do Cedric Houston instead. He's a much better player than Larkins. 84, let's see, Corey Anderson. Good little group of receivers. A lot of these guys got dropped out for one reason or another. Victor McClure. Big Michael Munoz, arguably the best tackle in the game. 
He was really good for us back in the day. Uh, not Aaron Sears. Aaron Sears ended up being one of our best tackles ever. But he is a true sophomore in this game. 76, 86, uh, 85, 86. We're, I'm pretty sure we're running a 4-3. Carlton Neal, Harrelson. As you can see, we've got a bunch of guys in the 80s and a handful of guys in the 90s. Kevin Simon was a cerebral stud for us back in the day. Daniel Brooks, he didn't even finish the his college at UT. He transferred out. Kevin Burnett, defense. Oh, it's cool. It shows defensive captain. That's pretty neat. Uh, Kevin Burnett was an All-American when he left. Really good ball player. Jason Allen was an All-American when he left. With big drop off in the corner situation. I got another guy here. I need to adjust the depth charts after this. Free safety. Uh, we're kind of struggling at strong safety. Let me just put this other guy right here. We got a kicker, James Wilhoyt, redshirt sophomore, and another Colquitt, the brothers Colquitt, Dustin Colquitt. I think he's still with the Kansas City Chiefs. One of the best punters I'll ever see. Unbelievable talent. And let's go over to Penn State. Let's see what they got here. They got a quarterback, 70 overall, or 84 overall in the 70 speed, 85. It's weird. I'm looking for impact guys when they're not in this game. 88, not a whole lot at the receiver unit. Not much at tight end. Like you see, the guy, whoever created the rosters for these didn't uh, adjust the depth chart. I could do that later. 80, 76, 80, 84, 76. Now I bet their defensive Line is really good. Tomba Ali, yeah, 85, 76. Just kind of looking here, 80, really good. 88 outside linebacker, really good corner. And, okay, just kind of looking around here. All right, just kind of want to get a rough idea of where everybody was at. All right, let's just go ahead and get this show on the road. Now, I got to remember, this is the... Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one up. Man, that's really loud. That sounds really loud to me. I'm going to have to get used to the... I thought I fixed these. Play-by-play. Play. Let's go down here. Let's do that. That's fine. And I messed up the kick. I knew I would. It off. I got to get used to the kick meter. Let's get the call. Okay. The legal procedure on the kicking team. You can tell the graphics have more yeah, faded look. Is given the offense a great starting point. Gosh, that still sounds. I'm sorry. This may not sound loud to you all, but it sounds really loud to me. So let me just make this real quick change. Let's do bring that down. One more. Okay, they're going three wide. Let's do a lightning gold. They'll get the ball here at the 35 yard line. The Nittany Lions come out in a shotgun. Mill drops to throw. And uh, he's looking across the middle. Tries to shoot. And down good play goes. there. I got to get used to these controls. <laughs> that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. Okay. Uh, three wide again. I still think they're going to run it, so let's go to another one high. I know they're going three wide. Midfield. Let's just stay here. It's fine. Comes to the line with three wide. He's looking deep down the left side. Bad throw That's there. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. But throwing quite a bit. Let's go nickel quarters. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the forty-seven from the gun. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. That was a good hit. Oh, he could have had a big reception. So what is the third and just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Let's just go here. Now they got my cover six. Thank the Lord. Cover three clam. I gotta have it. Coming up. Ball right around midfield. Go this way. The Nittany Lion set up in the gun. Looking. He's got all day to throw. Oh, interception. He got right in front of it. He had a clean pocket. That's just good awareness right there. Okay. The linebacker comes down with the INT. Let me say one thing. That was a tough catch. Uh, let's Even try. Even for a receiver, that would have been a tough catch to make. Let's do a toss play. We'll do our take over option. The -yard line. I think they're going zone. I think my pre-snap thing still works. It'll happen an eye. Yep, they're still going zone. Schaefer on the option left side. And that was my fault. I should have went to the outside. Uh, 
Uh, another thing, you can flip the direction of the run. You couldn't do that in 04. We're going Ball zone. The Let's go speed option with Schaefer if we can. Wide. They go with the option. He laterals the ball. He breaks free. As you can tell, it's a little bit slower, the gameplay in general. Third and inches. Okay, let's... There's no halfback slam. We'll have to go with blast. They're going zone again, but they're going with a 5-2. Houston lines up in the deep back. High formation. Schaefer hands it off. Just enough to get the first. Okay, let's go. He's a, now my quarterback's left-handed. I don't think this will affect much, so let's try. It's first and ten. We're going zone again, I think. Midfield. Penn State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. I'm gonna have he scrambled. Yeah, and I couldn't get him off in time. They blitzed real hard. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration. That's the problem. I gotta turn this off. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to tell me if that's really too loud, but that, the audio for the play-by-play -play is just really, really loud. Okay, I'm gonna have two, second and 19. P -O. A lot of this looks very familiar to 06. Let's go P. A. Reed. And he got hit as soon as he tried to catch it. Okay, and I think my crowd is really high as well. Again, I'm so sorry for having to do this in front of you, but it's hard to adjust until you actually start talking through your mic and everything. Let's go down here. I feel like everything's just really loud. All right, third and forever. Do we got anything here? Halfback corner. We can try a tight end cross. Going zone. This will probably go to somebody on the left. I love the offensive line splits. I don't know if you've noticed that. And it's intercepted. That's just a bad throw. All right, we'll punt it. I'm, I will turn the play-by-play -play up a little bit, but later. It's a little bit better of a kick. Good stop there. All right, we'll get back on defense. We're going three wide. We'll do a one high. And you can't. Oh, why aren't they moving over? I do not like that. And I keep hitting the wrong button. I thought they were supposed to auto shift, and they didn't. Hmm. I'm going to try that here in a minute. They're throwing a whole lot more than I expected. Let's go quarters. First and ten. Ball on their own 37. Mill with three wide receivers. Uh, on the ground to the tailback. Good and stop and there. Wow, the PA's really loud too. It's gonna take me a while to get used to that sound. I thought I had it adjusted earlier. Guess not. Down and seven to go. Ball on the 40 yard line. Good stop there. QB draw didn't go anywhere. Big Jesse Mahalona. May he rest in peace. He passed away a few years ago. It is third and six. I know they're going too wide. I'm still going to go with a cover three cloud. Feels good to be able to run that again. Ball on the 41 yard line. Tennessee brings in their nickel package. Mill gets back to pass. He's looking. Rose. Good play there. Just couldn't get to him in time. They're moving the ball pretty well. I like how they have everything kind of organized. It's like all my cover ones were on one side, that type of thing. All my basic zones were on the other side. That's easy to kind of decipher. The Nittany Lion. Line up in an eye for Thought I was going to go out off sides there. 
like you see, here's all my cover ones are on one side. Crash gold, dog, lightning, I like that. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 42. Penn State comes out with an eye formation. Hey, they're not shifting over like I would want them to. I'll have to figure that out later. Fullback dive, nothing there. It is third and five. Uh, let's try. I'm going to keep going back to Cloud for now. Hey, let's do a monster too. This may really mess me up, but I don't care. I'm not really worried about winning or losing this particular game. That's a good stop. They went with the draw. It didn't work. Let's do a middle fan. I assume they're punting. James Banks is our returner. No surprise here as they prepare to put it away. Number 36 boots it way up there. Come on, fair catch, fans. Everybody get out of the way. 20 yard line. We're in the middle of the field. We're going to have Schaefer in there one more drive, but then we'll put somebody else in. Again, that was the year we actually played three quarterbacks. Our two true freshmen got hurt. Nice little stiff ball, but didn't get the first, though. Let's see what we got here. PA seam. We can try curl flats. They're going zone. Let's see if we can give it to somebody over on the left. And again, just pretty much every time they get touched, somebody drops it. Let's just stay here and let's do another option. Since we got the quarterback to do it, we're going zone. And I didn't. I tried to pitch and it didn't do it. Uh, let's go. Let's just go for it. I don't really care. Like I said, I don't care if we win or lose. Uh, let's go tight half back corner. I think they're going zone again. <laughs> well, looks like the coach is going to take a chance here and go for it on fourth down. Looking. He's going to go for the home run. And another drop, yeah. Like I said, I don't care going for it there. It doesn't make no difference. I just kind of want to show you what it's like on the fault Heisman. Uh, let's go and switch out Schaefer. Let's put in somebody who can throw a little bit better. Let's put in another true freshman, Eric Ainge who finished his season at Tennessee. Penn State comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He steps up. Wants to throw. Ooh. Should have been picked off. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. All right, that's the end of the quarter. That was pretty quick, and of course it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Now, for this, I'll just say right here, for this game, I want to keep it in perspective in terms of low scores. Like I said, the game plays slower compared to 04 or 06. But that's probably another reason why people didn't like it as much because it just wasn't as arcadey, I guess. But I'm going to keep that in mind and try not to get too upset over just low scoring games because I think it just is what it is with this game, especially when I'm still trying to get used to, you know, how the game plays and such. All right, let's go with the zone blitz. The Nittany Lions line up with three wide. Hill, back to pass. Looks to pick that up. Good defense there. This is definitely a defensive oriented game, that's for sure. Just 05 as a whole. Go back to Cloud. I'll try to control defensive end again if I can. Going with the shotgun here. Back. He's I just can't get to him in time. All day to throw. <laughs> Good defense. Got a hand on it. All right, they'll probably kick a field goal. We'll go with a safe man just in case to try to do something goofy. Also, I'll stop it here so you can kind of hear what I'm – because I can't hear myself half the time. You got to remember with 05, you know, back in 2005, the high scores wasn't super intimate. 
or imminent. Uh, so I'm gonna try to keep that in perspective as well. I gotta think 2005 and not 2020. Let's put it that way. All right, hopefully we can do some on offense. So far, it hasn't been much of nothing. The passing game is going to be a real challenge in this game. I'm just going to have to figure it out. I'm not worried about the man beaters, per se. I just got to rep a lot of routes against how they work and such. Now, one thing I wanted to see was I wanted to look here and see if it was doable to run up the middle. In 06, you can't run up the middle on kickoffs. But if you notice the spacing here, there's some spacing right there. So maybe you can run up the middle a little bit better in 05. I'm not really sure. Right, right, right. Right, we're on the left hash. Let's go halfback angle. We're going man. He's coming down. He can't hear it. I guess we're going to go to Banks. Hopefully he can make this catch. He drops back. And another drop. See, did the defensive guy get to it? Either way, just didn't even attempt to try to catch it. Just so as you can tell, wide receiver, the drops are an issue. We're going to have to increase sliders on those. But I'm not going to do it today. I'll do it later on. My screen keeps jittering. Do you see that little jitter? I don't know what that is, but maybe that's the game itself. I'm not sure. All right, they're going man dime. We're going to do an inside draw. Penn State lines up in a dime defense here. They'll give it off here. And now he's got room to run. Get a first down there. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now. Good play by Cedric Houston. One of the fastest players in college football. Now we have, I need to go back and look. I'm sure he's in here. Cedric Houston and not Jabari, G Gerald Riggs. Those two guys. Had a thousand yards each that year. I was just curious to see he was in there, and he is. Both of them just dominated that year. So much fun to watch. All right, they're going man dime again. I may just hand this off again. Hey, let's go ahead and pass it. Ooh. Good catch by Hannon. Finally got a catch. Big time throw by the quarterback. Did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. Uh, I know the counters don't work all that well. They don't work as good as they do in 07. Let's go blast. They come out They're nickel. going zone. Going nickel. I'm okay with that. I don't know if that linebacker's blitzing or not. Again, he'll get the call. Good little run there. Pick up eight. About six yards on the oh, six yards. It looked like eight. Uh, the toss plays, I don't think they work. Let's go slot. And... Let's do the draw from under center, see how that works. They're going, they're going 4-3. I didn't see anything up the middle, so I felt like I had to go to the outside. And it didn't work, so what is a third and five? We'll go tight end cross. We're going zone again. He can't hear it. Pick up first down with the tight end. Victor McClure wasn't much of a receiving tight end. But it's cool to see him get one right there. I want to go play action right here. Do I have something? I do not have a... I only have that one. Now let's go back to this one. Now let's go PAC. That's fine. We're going man. This will go to one of the receivers on the left, more than likely. The Nittany Lion. I threw that one off my back foot. He still should have caught it, though. But here's why a lot of people gave up on 05. Say I threw it off my back foot. I'm an idiot. Still, it was a good throw. He just dropped it. So, again, that, that should be a slider change is all that is. Yeah, it was. And it was a catchable ball. Pulled right at him. He just didn't catch uh, it. What else do we got? We got trips. What do we have here? Let's go half back out. Let's keep passing a little bit. We're going zone. Number 
Going with cover two. And they had a soft cover two. I probably could have went over the top a little bit more. Third and six. Oh, we got strong. That's a new play. Full back streak. That looks different. Let's try that. I'm in two down territory anyways. All right, they're going man. Oh, look at the look how big my fullback looks. He's a monster. Was he in the way? I think that guy was in the way. Oh, that's why I couldn't give it to him. That's just good defense. That was my my bad completely. I shouldn't have made that throw. Fourth and six. Let's go ahead and go for it. We'll probably just go back to tiny cross. We're going zone. This will go to the tight end or hand and more than likely. The student section going crazy. Back pass. Looks. Across the middle. Terrible throw. <laughs> that was bad. Alright. We talk about huge plays. It's not a good play. Alright, let's go back on defense. Let's go quarters. They'll get the ball here at the 35. Again, it's gonna take me a while to get used to 05 just in terms of the defense is just a lot better in this game. There are no six. Ooh. If he wasn't going to tip it, I was. Three. Let's go with a zone blitz. I love the player models, though. I just like the, the bulkiness of them. Penn State comes out of the shotgun. Ah, good. Good play by the quarterback there. He didn't get much, but he avoided the sack. I guess that was a QB draw. Third and nine again. Let's just go back to Cloud. It's third down and nine to go. Ball in their own 36. Mill with three wide receivers. Let's see if I can get to the quarterback here. Mill drops the throw. That was a good hit. Okay. Let's get the ball back. I'd like to be able to score some today. We'll see. May have to go back to the run game a little bit. Good punt there. Get a block right there. Good block. All right. First down again. I got screenplay. All this looks pretty familiar to 06. I just didn't know if they... Let's try the direct to see how potent it is. We're going man nickel. He's doing that. I'll probably run to the left. As you can see, it's just a little bit slower gameplay. Just a little bit. I mean, compared to 07, obviously. Or 05 or 06. Let's try a draw play to pick up the first. We're going zone. Going 4 3. We're doing that. Went that way. But you notice how much quicker the draw is. Really quick. Really good news for guys who want to be in the shotgun but still want to run the ball a little bit. All right, what else do we got? We got weak normal. We got a deep attack. Mm, let's try deep attack. We're right. going zone. I see my short zone beater is just not as potent as it used to be. So I don't know if I'll be able to give it to my tight end. First down. He's looking. He's right. And that one's just too hot to handle. Yeah, the quarterback might it is what it is there. As you can tell, both quarterbacks are, and it's not really them. They're making pretty decent throws. It just drops everywhere. We got a weak slot as well. Let me look at my fullback. Can he run a little bit? Corey Anderson wasn't known to be able to run the ball well. He was a pure fullback, to say the least. He has 65 speed, but look how big he is, 6'1", 250. I was going to run a little fullback over, but I'm going to back out of that. Second and 10. We may just have to throw it again. Uh, let's go wide receiver corner. We're going man. I got several options here, I think. He's being double teamed. The Nittany Lion bringing the nickel package. He drops back. Good play there to Jason Swain. Did I get the first? That's a good little man beater. He saw saw some separation here. Really good separation. Yeah, we'll take that. The dig routes work really well in this game. If you want, I mean, they work well in 06. I think they work a little bit better in this game. Let's go with a halfback counter. 
They're going man. Yeah, well, let's keep Houston in there. I think he's doing okay. I didn't look at the fatigue. We can look at that on the next play. Houston, again. Eh, it's just good defense. Houston was never the fastest guy in the world. Second and nine. Let's kind of just look and see what we got here. Let's do PAD post. We're going zone. This will either go to Banks or to Anderson. Oh, oh, almost intercepted. Yeah, I threw that way too early. That was my bad. Second and 17, third and nine. What do we have here? Have, let's do... Uh, let's just go back to half back out, I guess. We're going man. My zig out can't make that play. That's going to be hard. We may try to throw it to him anyways. Let's see what the safeties do. Intercepted. Mm, yeah. So the zig outs may not work all that well in this game compared to 06. The cornerback got in front of it real easily. It's fourth and nine from the 38. I can't make that kick. Let's go deep attack. We're going man. Crowd's popping. And a touchdown. Now, that's what you may have to do in this game is use your catch a lot. I'm not a big user catch guy. I didn't have to do it a whole lot in 06. You may have to do it in 05. <laughs> and I may have to do it in 05. You saw me take him over right there. I was able to make the touchdown. It was a cover one, so I figured I'd just go to him instead. Okay, we finally got on the scoreboard. And and I wasn't even paying attention to the clock. The half's about over with. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. Uh, that's probably a miss, and I missed it. Yeah, <laughs> I got to get used to that meter. 07 got me out of it. It's a little bit different. The cadence of your three-button press is a little bit different than 06. And I may have went out of bounds here as well. Nope, he's going to return it. Uh-oh. Good there. Uh, I don't know what. Let's just go quarters, play it safe. They'll set up shot at the 23 yard line. The Nittany Lions come out showing three wide. No, go back. On the ground, upside. Yeah, they're just going to run out the clock. All right, that's the end of the half. So let's look at some stats. We can go to stats and scores. Now, again. This is what this game is known for. It's just much slower than 04, 06. Slower to pretty much any game on the PS2 era. Not a whole lot of first downs. Total offense, not much of nothing. But again, I, I kind of knew going into this game that's what it was going to do. That's why five-minute quarters is nowhere near enough. As you can tell, we'll have to probably go up to maybe seven just to get a little bit more better. I saw some sliders. I got a big list of them. I'm not going to use them. But I saw where they also listed their quarter length. A lot of people were going eight, nine minutes. I really don't want to make these videos two hours long. But I may have to go up to maybe seven. And it may be an hour and a half a piece. It just, it is what it is. Biggest thing I saw, I didn't see any fumbles. You know, that's pretty cool to see. I mean, we'll eventually see them. But it wasn't due to goofiness like a momentum meter or a big hit. The rest of it, uh, I want to go to the individual stats and look at a couple things. Let's go to receiving. Now, apparently, they don't have any drops, according to them. We already have four, and that's because pretty much every one of them got hit when they try to catch it or whatnot. Again, we'll make that adjustment later on. But I was just kind of curious to see that. The other thing I want to see was pancakes. We only have two, and they only have two. A whole lot more realistic than 07, where there was like 12 at halftime for the opposing team. Just, you know, I thought that was a bit absurd. All right, let's just get right back into it. We got the ball start second half. Gives a little halftime stats. Look there. I'm going to try to go up the middle, see if we can get anything going. Derek Tinsley. Now, again, this kind of gives me hope. I'm seeing some holes up the middle. 
They're more spaced out. I think my gunners right here are more spaced out than they were in 06. In 06, like all five of them were like shoulder to shoulder to each other. Here it's a little bit better, and you see the defense spread out a little bit more. I saw a bit of a hole right here. That's kind of encouraging to see. Now, I'm going to keep, uh, let's put Schaefer back in. Let's run the ball a little bit. Let's do some option. No, let's put, let's keep Ainge. I want to do a little bit more balanced. I still, want, I may want to run the ball here. Let's do a toss play. No, go in zone. I can try the real toss play a little bit later, but I don't think it's going to work all that much. Line up in an eye formation. Oh, come on. It's not going to let me turn. Oh, I can't do that with the toss. I was able to. I can't flip those. That's interesting. For some reason, we'll let me do it. Now, we can stay here and run like ISO. Now, it shows like it's going to go right, but we can go left or right, I'm pretty sure. For example, there we go. See, you can flip the runs. Now, it'd be awesome if you can run up the middle a little bit better than you can in any other games. I don't know if you can, though. We can look here if there was a hole or not. See, another issue with a lot of these games, for whatever reason, it's really hard to go up the middle when you want to. you got to have, like, perfect blocking. I'm not seeing a whole lot there. I mean, there could have been a hole right here, maybe. But either way, I feel like I had a bounce to the outside, as you can tell. Pick up four or five yards right there. Okay, let's go back to trips. What do we have here? Corners. There's a slant. Let's try corners. We're going zone. I don't know if my short side zone beater is going to work a whole lot. I'd like to be able to go over the middle of the swing. Not really seen it there. That should have been intercepted. Just wasn't a very good throw. I think it was... We can look here. See, that's just good coverage by the corner. The corner is just a good position in this game. A whole lot better than 06. That's for sure. Third and five. We're doing a lot of third downs. Uh, let's do P. Reed. We're going zone dime. Go here. Just a bad throw, I guess. Yeah, just a bad throw. Just what it is. It's not a drop, just a bad throw. Okay. We'll just go ahead and punt. Yeah, let's just go for it. I don't care. Let's go for it. We're going zone. Let's bring him over, get a center beater if possible. Get a first down. That was a bit of a risky throw, but we got the first. Let's try off tackle, see if it's any count. We're going zone. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to pull anybody. Just be patient with the block. Get about five yards there. Let's stay here. Now, I like that they have an, our tight end is off the line. I just love that look. Don't know why they got rid of it in 06. Let's go P.A. Reed. We're going man. 4-3. We'll probably throw this. Just get, We got the... We're going there. Okay. Here's another example why the dig route, your in route, is excellent. A lot better than 06 or 07. Look at the separation up top by our X. I threw that too late, too. I should have threw it a little bit earlier. But look at the separation right there. Dig routes are amazing against man. Food for thought. Just keep that in mind. Really good play right there. and I'm glad he caught it. What else do we have? Let's try. Let's just stay in the gun for a little bit. Let's go here and let's do a draw. Let's flip it. They're going man. They're going nickel. I don't really have the numbers for this. Oh, just ran over that dude. Got some yards. Looks like Larkins is in there. Yeah, you can see if you look, the colors of the of the jersey numbers are faded, so people are getting fatigued, which is good to see. Uh. Do I have anything? In, let's try counter. I can show you that counter. It doesn't. It's not all that great in this game. And I wasn't expecting it to be because it wasn't good in 06. 
That's not bad. I didn't even use the speed button there. You can look here. The big thing is my guard did he pull quick. And my guard pulled a little late. And my tight end didn't get a good block on that edge right there. So we're back on the left hash. It's third and six again. We may have to go back to tight end cross. And let's go PA Raiden. It's a two down territory for us. We're going zone. We're going dime. I may hand this off. Now I got Jabari Davis in there. Now it's fourth and whatever. Fourth and three. Uh, this is going to be interesting. What do you call here? Let's do PA read. We're going man dime. I may hand this off. No, what I may do is just throw this to Jabari if he can handle it. And I, that was a terrible play. Don't know what happened there. Good coverage by that guy right there. That was my fault. I should have went to my dig, and I didn't do it. They went man, and I should have went there. That's my bad. That's my fault. Okay, we'll get back on defense. Yeah, I know, Lee. I'm just trying to full ramp. I didn't want to show a bunch of field goals today. Oh, he's wide open. I had to control the other side of the field. That's not my responsibility, so that's on the middle linebacker. Let's go zone blitz. I'm going to try to go up the edge again. Nope, ain't going to be able to get to him in time. Good open field tackle there. Let's run another. Ooh, look at that! Oh, look at that zone play. That Raider too. Jeez, that looks that looks nasty. I can really throw somebody off. I'd be about afraid to do it, attempt it, but do not run to the left or to the right. That's a good play right there. So where are we at? It's third and five. Right, let's just do cloud again. I'll try to control a defensive end. Mill with three wide receivers. He dropped back. He's got oh sack. Finally got to him. Look at those player models. Awesome. They just look big. I love it. They look good. Alright, let's get the ball back and try to do something on offense. I've pretty much seen the entire playbook, so I don't know what else really to call. There's no goofy return camera. I like that. It's back to normal. Uh, let's put in Schaefer. Let's do a little option now with him. Now, I hope I can flip this. The last time it wouldn't let me do it. Like, I wouldn't mind going right. There we go. Let me do it here. And that's a terrible play. The angle of the halfback here was way off. Maybe that's because I... I mean, look how far off he is. Why is he back there so far? That's just a bad play. I don't know what that was. Let's do a speed option again. We're going zone dime. Quarter's about over with. Let's just go here. Get some of the yards back. So now it's what, third and third and eight? End of the quarter. All right, fourth quarter. As you can tell, the game goes by pretty quickly for five quarter, five minute quarters. So we're definitely going to boost that up to at least six or seven. I'll try to figure that out before I start the dynasty. All right, they're going man. I want to go to my dig route. Let's see if we can give it to him. Unless they bring both safeties. Nice. First down. Tony Brown. Let's stay here and let's run P.E. Reed with our little speedy quarterback. We can. They're going zone 4-3. Oh, 
All right, they're going cover two. He's looking. Down the middle. Good catch there again. Zone cover two. I got a cover two beater, and that's my backside post. I threw it right. I actually threw it before he made his cut. Good catch there. Pick up a first down. And they get the first down on that completion. Good little play there. Let's go nice here and run some draw. The key to play was the fact I got that QB draw too. We may try that here in a minute. We're going zone. Linebackers are coming up. Get a block there. See the draw. I love the draw. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It looks good. Looks doable. Second and four. Let's try QB draw from spread. See how that works. Do I have in this formation? I got QB choice. Let's try QB choice. Second and four coming up here. We're going zone dime. We'll probably just hand this off. That's good defense. Everybody came through on that one. There's Joe Paterno. Third and six. Let's flip deep attack. We're going man. I'm pretty sure the out routes work fine as well, but this is going to go to somebody on the right, depending on what that safety does. He's going to do that. Ooh, he's congested. Nice throw. That's an interesting throw. Now, I like seeing this. You never see this in 06. My out route, this is who I was going to go to if that safety wasn't going to come up. He gets bogged down the corner, so good job by the corner, the linebacker right there. So he's still making his move, and he makes a cut right here, and I make a, a softer pass. And he gets decent separation because of and that's maybe because he's going up against a linebacker. Either way, great throw by Schaefer. Pick up a first down. They convert on third I want to go play action guys. here. We're on the 21. Let's go. PA flat route, choice. Yeah, We're going man. Was able to throw to a spot. This should be and interesting. Let's see nice what we do play. here. Marcus, the the with the play to the tight end. Oh, That's good defense. He had good separation. Look at my tight end right here. Ooh, this guy was wide open. Dang it. That's my fault. They're going man. Oh, this is a good man beater. I need that's good to know. But he got a good separation, but he's short on the throw. Thankful that they get picked. Second and ten. Do I got an off tackle run? I got blast. Not really. I got counter lead. Eh, let's do speed option. I got the quarterback to do it. They're going man here. I can't flip this play. Well, that stinks. It won't let me flip it. So I guess some plays will let you flip. Again, the option's a little... Look how far out my halfback is. He shouldn't be that far back. Either way, I thought I was be able to flip the play, but he can't flip this one for whatever reason. So either way. Okay, what is it? Third down and... 39 again. Let's just go back to our safety valve and tight end cross. We're going zone. This will go to Hannon or McClure. Terrible throw. I threw it too hard, I guess. I don't know. I should have threw it right there. I threw it a little too late. It's not a very good throw. So let's kick a field goal. I don't know if I can make it, but we'll try. I don't know if you've also, I, again, I can't hardly hear myself. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but in 07, the kicks were always really low to the ground. I don't know why, but they're much higher before that, and they probably fixed them beyond 07. Now, I don't have any faith, any trust in myself for making this, but we'll try. I think I missed it. And, yeah, I didn't get to the inside. I just got to work on the kicks. All right, we got to serve as a barn burner. <laughs> Six to three. Good defense there. He's able to get a hand on it. And again, the low percentage for the quarterbacks, it's mostly due to drops, I think. Now, we're still seeing some bad throws. 
with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. Looks. He's going left. All right, good defense there. How about that play right there? And we're let's go back to Cloud. Quick enough to react and get a hand on the ball to first game. Third and ten. Third and ten. Ball on their own twenty. And we're doing that. The Nittany Lion set up in the gun. And my defense van got destroyed. Oh, good little pump fake. But good defense, though. Are they going to go for it? They're going to punt. There's still plenty of time left, so. As you can tell, it's just a low scoring type of game. But again, we'll increase the. We'll up the wide receiver catching for both sides. Get a block on that dude. Nope, ain't gonna happen. Mm. I thought I had a chance, but I think he was gonna get to me first. Okay, Schaefer, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do much with him. He doesn't have his good enough arm. So let's just go back to age. You got Rick Clawson here. Let's look at their arms. Throwing power. Wow, went up a plus 10 for Ainge. And Pat and the accuracy is the same. Let's just put in Ainge. Keep the true freshman in there. All right, let's run the ball a little bit. Let's try that counter trap again. I thought we had a little bit of success with it on the last one. We're going zone. You can't flip that. Wow, look at the blocking here. Wow, the blocking's great on that. The counter, the pulling guard done a little bit better that time, but look at this big hole over here. Look at that. Great block right there. And my running backs are running everybody over. That's awesome to see. Cedric Houston having a good game so far. Let's try to go up the middle this time from slot. We're going 4-3, man. I'm not really worried about the clock. Again, that's just an exhibition game. You can flip that. That's just good defense. He was able to get underneath on the A-gap. Do I got any good passing plays from this formation? I got a drag. I got stretch. Let's try this. We're going zone. Let's see if the swing route works all right. Okay. If they go cover two, I may go to hand and over the middle. They are going cover two. Let's go to the swing. Big play right there. So the swing works pretty good in this game. Look at this shrug off. Get off me, son. And we get the first down. Okay. So, as you can tell, fatigue works really well in this game. Because Houston is already out. Larkins is back in. Let's go up the gut. Let's go with the... the guy, uh, well, yeah, there it is. Halfback dive. They're going zone. I'd love to see a hole open up the middle somewhere. Let's, we can run a little clock. We can try to pretend we're knowing what we're doing here. They'll probably start calling timeouts after this one. Not really seeing it. I probably could have went to the outside right there. I probably could have went to the outside. That's my bad. I like the little summary on the far left with the stats and stuff. Let's go offensive line. Let's go strong normal and see what we have here. Let's go back to another dive. We'll do it from strong normal. They're going man. 4-3. I like that. I may have to bounce this to the outside. Nope, ain't going to be up to there. My right guard got beat pretty badly. Now, they're probably going to waste another timeout if I run the ball again. So, let's do that. Let's go here. Let's do another draw play. They're going dime. Man. That's encouraging. I want the... Ooh. I may have to go to the other side. Let's go here. Ooh, that's nice. You could do that. Big play. So they shifted their line to that side. Thankfully, the inside draw is so quick, I can move back to the other side if needed. That is good to know. Look at that big hole up the B gap right there. I could have used it. Either way, nice little shrug juke right there by Larkins. Pick up the first down. Awesome play. Okay. 
Let's run another draw. They're going zone. That should be the game unless I accidentally fumble or something. Houston is back in. We'll keep running it. Get about four yards there. He's trying to run the ball a little bit better. Penn State has thrown the ball a ton today. I didn't see the players of the game. I missed it. We're going zone here. We're going to run to our left. We're going to let the clock roll a little bit. Oh, they did call the timeout. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so close. Look how big this hole is up the middle. The defensive tackle was able to get to it, but, man, that's, that gives me some hope about this game. If you can run up the middle some, if you see holes like that every now and then, then you may want to run dive a whole lot more instead of going slam to the outside all the time. That's just a good job by the defensive tackle coming through, but, wow, that gives me some hope. Let's go here and let's run dive from I normal. We're going zone, 4-3. The clock is going. I just want to try it up the middle again. That's just much better play by the defensive tackles. Our guards got pushed back. Big time. That's where we at. Is it uh, 31 seconds? Let's kick it a field goal. Hopefully I can make this. I may not. Who knows? They still got time to do something. Hopefully I can make this. I think I missed it. <laughs> I got to work on the kicking, as you can tell. It's very sensitive. You can, I just don't know the timing of it yet. All right, so they may have a chance to win this thing if we're not careful. Let's go to a cover two if I can find it. They'll set up shot at the 20 yard line. That's funny. The secondary moves back as the offense needs to pick up a big game. Steps up, looks. Can't get the quarterback. Oh my gosh. Are they going to be able to do anything in time? I don't think they're going to. Game over. Oh, all right. Okay, it's six to three. I wonder if there's any post game differences. Let's see here. No, that's no different than 06. This is why I'm up here with you guys. Coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack. Tennessee really got all they asked for and more in this. The player models look incredible. Okay, let's look at some stats here real quick. Then all legends go. Tennessee six. Penn State three. Okay, let's look at some stats. Okay, again, 05, it's a low scoring type of game. I kind of knew that going into it. We will increase the quarter length. I didn't really time it the whole thing, but I think I could go up to seven minutes and these videos won't be too, too long. I may just do it at six or whatnot. Anyway, it's going to take me a while to get used to the offense and different things, see what works a little bit better against certain coverages and stuff. I was on able to get 257 yards. Now, their defense offense didn't do a whole lot. I think a lot of this, I don't know if it was QB accuracy. I think a lot of it was just due to drops. I could be wrong. I can increase those sliders later. So, the passing yards, it is what it is. But as you can tell, they didn't run the ball hardly at all. And maybe it was just because they had better quarterback and receivers compared to their halfbacks. I'm not really sure. They didn't do a very good job on third down. Let's see. Biggest thing, the turnovers. We only had one, and that was like the very first play of the game, and it was the interception. No fumbles. Woo! No fumbles. We'll see them eventually. But it's good to see this look more normal than what 07 showed us. That's for sure. Okay, everything else. I, I may increase the penalties down the road. It looks like it's, it feels no different than 06. They're just running a whole lot of penalties if you set them on default. We definitely won the turnover battle. That's for sure. All right, let's go to individual stats. The biggest thing I wanted to see was receiving. Now, it shows Penn State had no drops. I, I, ha I need to go back and look if the quarterback, was he just off on a lot of throws? I may have to go back and look at the video. You look at Tennessee, we had our 
We didn't have any drops second half. We played a whole lot better in the passing game in the second half, that's for sure. Tony Brown done a pretty good job with some – he had 85 yards and a touchdown. Of course, a lot of that came off that one big bomb towards the end of the first quarter – or end of the second quarter. Pancakes looks normal. Looks pretty normal. That's good to see. So I didn't see anything too crazy stats-wise other than, again, it's just a low-scoring game. We could try to fix that down the road. Okay, hopefully you enjoy the overview and the exhibition game. I'm looking forward to what's ahead. Then my next video, it'll be another exhibition game. We'll do a few more before we start a dynasty. But I can already tell I'm not going to have to do a whole lot of adjusting other than quarter length will increase the wide receiver catching. And we will maybe make some other adjustments again. Just let me know what you think about all that. If you saw anything that may need to be adjusting, just let me know and I'll look into that. But that was a whole lot of fun. I'm just glad I didn't see any cheesy mechanics forced onto us during the game. No jump to snap, no momentum meters, hardly any big hits, nothing that really caused any game-breaking things to happen. So come on back. We'll play another exhibition game of 2005, and I'll talk to you guys later.